Hey there friends and frenemies, it's Walker with DIY.life and in this episode we're talking about my six favorite letters, D-I-Y-L-E-D. I mean, talk about a topic that is near and dear to my heart. A client of mine asked me to come up with some interesting lighting concepts for an upcoming conference. My first idea was to uh, get them some Quasar Science Lights. Now, I don't know if you've seen these things, but um, check out their Instagram feed. I mean, they basically look like lightsabers. They're pretty sweet. But unfortunately, they were out of stock on all their rental equipment. So, plan B. Let's DIY this thing into submission. We are gonna get some LED strip lighting off Amazon. Um, I'm gonna go into the garage, grab my power tools, steal the lithium ion battery, um, and then to actually mount the lighting to, I found this extruded aluminum. And this stuff is kind of like a, a C channel in the shape of a C. And I'm hoping to run the LED strips up one side and down the other. And this thing will stand up, it's about four feet tall. Uh, so that's eight feet total of LED lights. And um, hopefully it'll run for a few hours and look pretty interesting as well. So no more uh, messing around, let's get to it. Let's hack this thing, let's do it. All right, I got all my parts laid out here on the table. And uh, the first thing I'm noticing is with these rubber caps for the toe hitch sleeve. I'm noticing these caps have kind of a curve to them. And not only that, but there's this logo on them, which I don't really like. And there's this edge, this hangover here that I wanna try and remove. So I'm gonna take these over to the belt sander and see if I can flatten that and remove this overhang. All right, I got my caps sanded down and they fit nicely now. They're properly sized. I was also able to remove some of the housing of the battery to get it a little bit smaller so that it fits a little bit nicer in here. And I figured out which is positive and negative on that thing. Uh, so the first thing is to mark a spot on the rail uh, to drill a hole. I think I'm cool with that. It's pretty flush. And I think I actually need a little bit of a notch here for some wiring to come through from the base. That feels good. So I'm gonna take the hacksaw basically cut a channel out of this just like that this is like a little mini hacksaw i have it's nice for small projects like this when you don't necessarily want to get a gigantic hacksaw out there, now my wire there now my wire can go through and pop out right there Here's a AC adapter I had for something. I don't even know what it went to, but it doesn't matter now because I cut that off for this connector, which works nicely with this LED strip. So now I've got my wire. This just runs, you hook the positive up here and the positive here. All right, I got some heat shrink tubing here. You know you're having fun when the heat shrink tubing comes out to play. Beautiful. Tighten it too tight. Just enough to, actually I may have to put a spot of hot glue on that. There 
We'll just put a little mess of hot glue down there just to keep it all in place. All right, so that's popping out there nicely. So now the big test. Let's see if the switch works. Yep, we're good. Okay. Okay, that fits down there nicely. Okay. So, last step is to get our, our strip stuck down in this channel. Actually with this stuff, there's very specific places where you're supposed to cut. Everywhere there, everywhere these cut marks are, that's where you're supposed to cut it. You're not supposed to cut it just right there in the middle. So actually I can probably have this go all the way down to like there. We'll cut it at this one. Right there. Let's give it one last test. Oh, it still works. That's cool. That about does it for this video. If you've liked what you've seen, then hit that like button. If you have any questions, write them in the comments below, and we will see you next time.